Now, from the KMAX Storm Team Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Lexi Birmingham. Good evening, everyone, and a happy Saturday, almost Sunday, really. Very beautiful day today, especially for the Texas Tech football game. Looks like these temperatures are going to be sticking around for a little bit longer, and into the next week, we're going to add some rain chances. And one of these systems that we're watching that could possibly bring our rain chances is Rosa. And Rosa right now is in the Pacific as a weak Category 2 hurricane with max sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. Uh, it is expected to keep decreasing until it is about a tropical depression by the time it makes landfall in the U.S. So that's one of the sources that we're looking at to bring us this rainfall. The other one is this trough out towards the Pacific, beginning to move inland here around California and Los Angeles. But the Pacific Ocean will pick up some of that moisture with the trough and will pick up moisture from Rosa, too, and eventually push its way into our region and give us those rain chances that we have been looking at since pretty much on Thursday and Friday. But overall, very beautiful night tonight. NTS Skycam looking very good, very little cloud cover. And even our temperatures shaping out really nicely. 70 degrees here in Lubbock, 65 in Floydata, and 68 out in Spur, and 70 out in Jayton. Now the winds are a little bit breezy in some areas, making, making it feel just a little bit chilly in some areas. We see about 14 in Lubbock, 10 in Floydata, 14 up there in Dimmit, 8 out in O'Donnell. So a few things that we're looking at are temperatures remaining about around the average that we have been seeing the last couple of days. Clouds will begin to move in by Tuesday and we'll also look at your potential rain chances. But tomorrow morning we're going to be off to a very beautiful start. We'll see temperatures in the 60s, 61 for Littlefield and 66 out in Paducah. Very nice warm up by the afternoon. Temperatures in those low 80s, 82 for Lubbock and Littlefield, and 80 up in Plainview. Perfect day to maybe go out to the lake or maybe get in a quick round of golf. By Monday morning, we will start right back off where we were 64 in Lubbock and some upper 50s up towards the northwestern parts of our region. Now, the long range model, the GFS model, is showing a few rain chances coming in by late Monday and into early Tuesday, about 100. 100 there in Lubbock by Wednesday morning, about 600 there in Lubbock and 300 down in Seminole. As for your Wednesday into your Thursday, not seeing too much. It looks like that's when we'll start to see the rain back off just a little bit. But of course, with the long range models, these will change. And of course, we will be sure to show you those updates. And of course, the first freeze contest is now going. So you can go on to everythinglubbock.com, get guess the date, time, hour, minute of when Lubbock will see their first freeze out at the airport. So for tonight, 62 degrees, very clear night, very cool, a bit breezy in some areas out of the south southwest. And your seven day forecast looking really, really good. We start off with 84 degrees for tomorrow and 82 by your Monday, 80 for your Tuesday with that cloud cover beginning to move in. Now, rain chances do go back and forth just a little bit. We are seeing about a 10% chance for some morning showers on Wednesday. Not really seeing anything for Thursday, but we are keeping an eye on Friday and Saturday where we will see another trough move in, probably bringing us more potential for rain chances for next week. And of course, Texas Tech having their bye week next week. Next week. So no Texas Tech football next week. Oh, no, sad. but of course they have a lot to prepare for. But overall, your week is looking really good. Very nice temperatures and yeah, even some rain an chances here and that's there. That's an ideal we'll go week ahead and to take me. It. That looks great. That's made the best forecast I've seen in a long time. Perfect. I know.